there are two things, right? There is polyamory, an open relationship, and then there is tantra. Yeah. And sometimes they overlap, sometimes they don't. Like right now, most of my friends who are teaching me in the field of the tantra, they're in committed relationships. They don't open their relationship anymore. Yeah. So there has been waves, you know, probably like, I would say 10, 15 years ago, everybody was in open relationships. Now the trend is everybody tends to be in much more in committed relationships. Interesting. And um, for for people who are beginners in that field, possibility of being there in open containers and being able to explore is something that is attractive, attractive to them. For myself, I've been in a committed relationship most of my life. I've been uh, exclusive. Over here in Bali, I had quite a few uh, relationships. Uh, one of them was really open from the start. We decided to open and six or seven other relationships were completely, absolutely committed. And uh, I feel like the moment we open the relationship, uh, there is a lot of instability that comes into the field. It's very challenging for the average person to create a container that is safe for both partners and open the relationship. I, see. I would say that there is probably a... 5% of people on this planet who are equipped, emotionally equipped to navigate open relationships. It's like the, the challenges and what comes into the field is just like very, very difficult or challenging to navigate. So when we are in, for instance, in tantra retreats and, and there is more openness around that, um, then uh, very often the container is going to create, uh, you know, an extra safety for, for that. But what I want, I want us to remember here it is that Tantra and polyamory, tantric sites and polyamory, they are two separate things. They they seem to overlap, but in reality, they are two very, very different yeah. things. My belief right now is that if you want to dive deep into tantric sex, it's better to focus your energy on one person and create a safety within that container. And then somewhere down the line, if at some point you want to open the relationship, it might be possible. But trying to do that from the start when you don't have the tools when those skills are not established is very, very challenging. It's not something that I would encourage.